Hi, Rich Kids. We love you guys and we miss you so much. And we can't wait for the day that we can gather together again and worship as a group. And guys, that day's coming. It's coming so quick. In just a few short weeks, we're gonna be able to gather together again in the same room and worship. And we're getting so excited just thinking about that day. It's going to be so much fun. We hope that during this time you're able to gather together with your friends and your family and do things that you enjoy. We hope that you're having such a great time and we would love to see you throughout the week. We would love to see pictures of you. So have your parents send us pictures, tag us on Instagram. We want to see your beautiful smiling faces that we have missed for oh so very long. We hope that during this time you are, if you're feeling a certain emotion, that you're just, you're stopping and you're identifying that emotion, that you know what that emotion is. And then we hope that you just look around and maybe see what's causing that emotion for you. And then finally, we want you to just listen. Listen to what God has to say to you. God will tell you how to handle that emotion. You just have to ask. So just don't forget to stop, look, and listen throughout the week if you're having a hard time. And we hope that you are enjoying the series and we hope that you are just as excited as we are to get back together once again. We love you guys, we miss you, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Hey everyone, my name is Telly Toolbox, and I'm so glad you're here to be Builder Buddies with me today. We work hard to help all of our friends. Before we can get to work, we have to make sure we're dressed and ready. Everyone put on your hard hat and buckle on your tool belts. Now that you're dressed, everyone stand up to sing a song. You can sit back down. Builder Buddies, it seems that we have a problem on the job site today. Let's take a look. Well, would you look at that? I'm not sure we actually have a problem to solve on site today. But let's see if Chef Sam could use our help. The first thing we need to do is help Chef Sam stop and name what he is feeling. Builder Buddies, do you think Chef Sam looks happy or sad? Happy. Chef Sam does look happy. Now that Chef Sam has stopped and named what he is feeling, it's time to look around and see what is making him feel that way. Builder Buddies, do you see anything that could be making Chef Sam feel so happy? I think I see it. Do you? 
It looks like Chef Sam has a line of people coming to eat his yummy food for lunch. Now that we've helped Chef Sam stop to name his feelings and look around to see what is making him feel that way, it's time to listen. Builder Buddies, click on your listening ears and get ready to hear a story that's sure to help us deal with any feeling that comes our way. Whenever you don't know what to do with your feelings, the best thing to listen to is a story from God's Word. Do my Builder Buddies know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right! This true story from God's Word is about King Jehoshaphat. King Jehoshaphat was a good king who did what was right in God's eyes. But there were some people who didn't like the good things that King Jehoshaphat did. One time, these enemies wanted to start a war against Jehoshaphat. Let me see all of you builder buddies make a scared face. You look just like the king may have looked. Jehoshaphat was really scared. So he gathered all of the people in his kingdom so they could pray together and ask God for help. When all of the people were together, Jehoshaphat began to pray to God. The king told God how great he is and asked God to help them because they were scared and didn't know what to do. Then God spoke to them through one of the priests. He said, do not be afraid. You will not have to fight this battle. The Lord will save you. Now let me see all of you make a surprised face. I think the king looked just as surprised as you do. King Jehoshaphat began to thank God for hearing their prayer and for promising to save them. The next day, Jehoshaphat and his army marched to meet their enemies. Jehoshaphat put a special group of men in front of the army. These men sang thankful songs of praise to God. The rest of the army followed them. Can you pat your legs to make the sound of the king's army marching to battle? When they arrived at the place where the enemy army was, they received a big surprise. They did not find a strong army of soldiers to fight. Instead, they found that the battle had already been fought. God had caused everyone in the enemy army to fight each other. And by the time Jehoshaphat and his army arrived, all of the enemies were dead. God had fought the battle for Jehoshaphat and his people. King Jehoshaphat and all of the soldiers returned to Jerusalem praising God. They went to the temple and worshiped him. They thanked God for answering their prayer. God gives us all the emotions we feel, like love, joy, and excitement but also fear, anger, and sadness. When we are having good emotions, we can thank God. When we are feeling some tough emotions, we can ask God for help. And we can be just like King Jehoshaphat by finding things we are thankful for. When we become thankful, we will feel happy. Thanks for listening. Here's one of my special tools to help you remember what you heard from God's Word today. I feel happy when I'm thankful. You can use me to stick thankfulness on any feelings you have so that you can feel happy too. Builder Buddies, let me hear you say this after me. I feel happy. I feel happy. When I'm thankful. When I'm thankful. Chef Sam must be so happy because he's thankful. Chef Sam can tell God he's thankful for all the things he sees around him, like the line of customers and all the yummy food he has to share with them. You and I can look around and tell God, thank you for all the things we see too. You see, Builder Buddies, when we stop, look, and listen, we will see that God is greater than our feelings and that he knows everything. Everyone stand up and let's sing a song about that now. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater. Greater. 
greater than our feelings and he knows he knows everything God is greater 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 than our feelings and he knows he knows everything God knows everything I can't stop and think about what I feel I can look for help and see if what I feel is real I can listen to hear what God has got to say then I can move along and have a good day God is greater 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 than our feelings and he knows he knows everything God is greater 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 than our feelings and he knows he knows everything God knows everything I can't stop and think about what I feel I can look for help and see if what I feel is real I can listen to hear what God has got to say then I can move along and have a good day then I can move along and have a good day you sounded great now it's your turn to help a friend like you You did it! This week we can look for things to be thankful for. When we become thankful, we will feel happy. I hope you'll come back next week, but until then, check out this project designed just for you and your family to work on at your home construction site. Have a handy dandy day!